Hey everyone. So I definitely felt inspired today to come on and give a quick update just in terms of like the very unique energy that's coming through. It's not really anything I felt before. Um, so February was a lot. Uh, it was like very unstable month. Um, a lot of shadow work, a lot of facing your own stuff and then being able to imp in integrate and implement a different response um, in your life like actually make the changes that you know you've been thinking you've been noticing new things about the way you've always perceived life and then actually when those those circles those you know those cycles that we go through they come around then making that new that change that new seeing it from a new perspective responding in a different way interacting with others and situations in life um in different ways than we had in our past and almost being forced into that to the point of like force integration like i've never seen it on such a such a mass scale like I'm seeing it in everybody it's like okay I know that you've always had these cycles and you just feel comfortable making these same decisions for so long in your life but now you're going to be forced to make a different decision and I just see that happening in myself and everyone and everything around me and so um that integration has been brutal for a lot of people I feel like I finally got in that sweet spot where it's like yeah I'm feeling all this stuff come up but I'm making a different choice this time. I'm not going to respond to that trigger this time. I'm going to choose something different in my life. I'm going to choose to, you know, um, maybe not communicate with somebody that <laughs> I feel like, um, you know, that, that turbulent energy with whenever I have that interaction. Or I'm going to look at um, maybe a different route in terms of my career because what I'm doing doesn't make me happy and I just keep staying there because I'm in my comfort zone it's like spirits telling you to um, get out of your comfort zone matter of fact you don't have a choice but to get out of your comfort zone and integrate and ground this new energy because if you don't you're just going to be sitting in the corner in the fetal position like afraid of life and so you know a lot of that that's what February felt like in terms of like my observations and I'm just very grateful that I'm to the point where I am on my journey where the contrast can come up and I can see it as a gift and be able to feel all those feelings that come up because we're human beings and we're going to experience that shadow that's why we came here so we could face it in order to grow and evolve our consciousness um I'm glad to that I'm to that point where I don't sit in victim mode and feel like the world is out to get me or whatever because then when i see when we see life in those ways that's what we continue to manifest but now it's like okay um sinking into victim mode isn't even a choice now because it's like nope you're not gonna make that decision again like we're just gonna keep putting it in your face until you make that choice for yourself because that's what the energies are calling for right now okay and then um, now that I'm tapping into like March, what happened this morning is I woke up from this dream and I've already been feeling like the difference just since um, the beginning of this month. There's a, there's a different energy and I've been trying to feel it out before I come here and speak on it. And I woke up from a dream this morning and the dream was long and I don't even remember a lot of the beginning, but the end felt so long. And it was because like, okay, it had to do with it was like we needed to go somewhere me and Lance needed to go somewhere in the dream and we kept packing up and you know how you kind of like when you were when you're gonna go on a vacation or something you clean your house before you go and you make sure everything's in order so when you come back and you have to unpack all your mess of laundry and everything else that your house is a need clean too it's already clean so it kind of makes everything maybe I'm the only I know other people have to think the same way I do but anyways that's what it felt like in the dream it's like we have to make sure everything's good. We don't want to leave it. But it wasn't the energy of like, okay, because we're going to come back. It's like, um, it's like staying at somebody, a guest at somebody's house and like you don't make the bed after you leave or you don't clean up your mess and you walked in and it was perfect. Like it was like not wanting to leave it, like wanting to leave with integrity. You know what I mean? And it, but 
But the weird part about the dream, it was like we were endlessly preparing to leave. Like we were endlessly preparing to go to this great place. Like we were excited to wherever we were going to go. We were excited to go there. But it was like I, in the, in the dream, felt so impatient. I was like, okay, we got this done. We got this done. We got this done. But, oh, my gosh, there's another thing that needs to be done. And it was like this impatient, like we were in this holding pattern. Like we can't land the plane yet because we're not quite ready to land. There might be some a storm or some cloud. So we're just going to stay in autopilot. And it's like how many times can I like uh, read the same book on the plane or watch, <laughs> watch the same movie? I feel like I've just I've done all the things I can do. I've prepared the house as much as I can. Like when are we going to get the when are we going to pull the trigger? When are we going to go? What is go time? And I don't know why it was just such, it was so strong. Like we're in a holding pattern. Something great is happening for us, but what is it? Like, what is it? What does it mean? It's not necessarily, I don't get the energy that it's for everybody. I think a lot of people are still going to be in like a lot of people who are not awake to the point where they're able to handle the energy yet are going to still be sitting in that energy from February where you don't have a choice but to face your stuff and if you don't then you're just sitting in the fetal position like I said in the corner like in victim mode and not able to make big change make big cherry scary changes and look at life in a different way and admit that you were wrong about things and admit that a lot of the things that we grew up with and in this matrix aren't the truth and being able to unlearn and relearn and like there's so much to the awakening process and if you don't face it it's like it's such a like gradual thing you face one thing and that gives you the courage to face another thing and if you keep building momentum in that direction you're well on your way but if you refuse to change because oh you care so much what people think you can't make that move what is this person gonna think and it's just like our egos have a million excuses as to why we don't want to get out of our comfort zone and change, but that's where growth happens. And that's where we have to be. So like, I just see a lot of people who aren't awake sitting in that uncomfortable place until they, you know, a move is made or something happens or they can't handle the energy and they choose to transition. And I don't really like to, um, I don't like to speak in that way too much because I don't want people who truly don't understand that death doesn't exist and you know we're eternal and all that kind of stuff like they have a hard time listening to somebody speak lightly about people transitioning and um but if you can't handle the energy that is a definite possibility or if you make decisions that are from a sovereign space from a space of I'm not afraid and I'm going to do the, what's best for me, but you're making decisions out of fear and maybe that decision can snowball into you not being able to handle the energies because maybe you have something artificial in your system or maybe like it's that fear. Like you're a vibrational match to what you're holding and feeling. Like what is your frequency right now? That is exactly on the same level of what you're going to be a match to in terms of what you create. Um, okay, what else did I want to add? See if there was anything else from that dream. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, so we're in the holding pattern. I didn't miss anything there. And then I was just like, okay, so we're in a holding pattern. We're waiting for somebody to pull the trigger, like, or no one to really pull the trigger because this is so individual at the same time. But we do feel like if you're a part of a certain collective energy group which we all are we have groups of different souls who we are more in vibrational alignment anyways we have these groups that we also pl made plans with and came in with and so like um that group that's in the holding pattern um they know they feel intuitively inside of them that something's about to happen for them maybe they're about to move somewhere and start this new is something new it has to do with new earth and what your role is and if you're on mission like you're just going to be intuitively guided there but anyways i was like okay what when like you know like you know i start prodding asking little questions whenever i'm connected to see what comes through sometimes nothing comes through sometimes it comes through days later and it comes through in the weirdest ways, you know, different synchronicities and visions and maybe dreams that I have. But um, what came through was I literally had woke up from that dream and then um, I was kind of half asleep. But I didn't want to get out of bed yet. And I saw 
I was like, okay, let's see if anybody's posted YouTube videos. And I saw Blossom Goodchild had posted a channeling she did with uh, White Cloud, who she channels quite often. And I really enjoy, I'm really drawn to her channelings for some reason. If you want her information, it's below in my favorite YouTubers. But anyways, one thing that she channeled in that message was, Everything's going to happen in divine time, not a moment before, not a moment afterwards. And I know that if you're connected to source, you know what I'm talking about. It's this deep knowingness like, yeah, so I'm not worried about what's happening politically. I'm not worried about, you know, anything because when you know it's, it's in the divine's hands, it's in the universe's hands, and you have that knowingness and your faith is just there. It's not even faith anymore. It is a knowingness. Um, you're not worried about it, but that holding pattern, that impatience, that still kind of like is, you know, that's a really mastery. If you can just like sit there and not feel impatient for like, something that's really exciting that is going to happen, but we don't know what it is, you know? And it's funny because we had rented this house and we just got a year lease and it'll be up at the end of July. And I, you know, my ego is like, yo, like you just had the craziest last year. Like you, you move, you live in the camper, you had your freaking stuff in storage and you finally found a place to rent. Do you really think you're gonna move again this year and like my ego's like hell no I want to rest I just want to (laughs) like let everything happen and then Lance feels the same way but we always like all of a sudden we'll come up to each other randomly in conversation or the kitchen or something it's like and we both get this feeling like I I want to renew the lease because I just don't feel like moving again but something inside of me says like I don't know I don't know though like there's something spontaneous is gonna happen and I don't know what it is and I'm not gonna until it happens and it's just like that weird it's like that flow with the universe that you get into once you really raise your vibration and your your life is in in the flow it's like flowing down the river it's just working with nature it's working with the universe everything every time a bump in the road comes up it gets ironed out so quickly it's just like once you get into that space, like your intuition is so, it get, it gets sharper and sharper the longer you're on your journey. And so the point of the, thing, the matter is, it's like our intuition is telling us like, okay, we don't really know what's going to happen, but we have to just, you know, stay in the moment. Because the more I'm trying to like, okay, why am I thinking about renewing a lease that isn't, doesn't need renewed to, for months down the road? You know what I mean? And, um... And that's just it. It's like, it'll put you into a state of worry. Well, what do I need to do? Do I need to do this and that? And everybody will like ask me like, how have you prepared if something were to go down? And it's just like, um, right now, I just have to make sure that I, wherever I come from, it's not a place of fear. And sometimes when we ask that question, it's coming from a place of fear, not trusting that we're prepared in this moment right now. And as long as you follow your intuition and you follow those little nuggets, It's like gradually along the way, I've been preparing, you know, so many different things just by doing, getting these intuitive hits every day and then expressing that action, reaching for that information that I needed or changing, just making small little changes. My entire routines have changed over the past years just because every so often I just implement something else. I implement something healthier into my diet. I... I, um, you know, gather seeds or like just little stuff, just little stuff. And the reason I always, um, the reason I always go back to self-sufficiency is because that it's not about like, and I wrote this down to end with speaking on self-sufficiency because it's not about like, Oh, when, when, when something happens, like we need to survive. It's not like a prepper thing. It's not, it can look that way. If that's where your intuition like guides you into what you, you desire to have your life be expressed like, but it doesn't have to look that way. And that's not what, that's not the purpose of it. Cause that's doing it out of fear. What it's about is about stepping into your sovereignty. So like, it's not easy to make choices that um, 
I, what I put it was, it's not easy to make choices that serve you because you aren't dependent on the matrix. Like, like you don't have to like depend on the matrix so you can just make whatever choices you want. You don't have to worry about having a vaccination certificate to go anywhere into any store or do anything. Why? Because you are sufficient. Like you don't even have to like leave your house for much. You start collecting your own seeds after you like, you know what I mean? Just think about all the little details that go into it. Like you don't have to do much. But people like we're so programmed into into what we've known, how we've known that life should be lived and it's all breaking down and people don't know what to think. And at the end of the day, the more independent you are, the less things you have to worry about. So like when you're independent and you're sovereign and you like take care of yourself you're self-sufficient you live like maybe off the grid or you have a bunch of different ways that you can access electricity or like i uh, just guys look it you already know look into this stuff the, um it eases so many worries and anxieties in in so many different aspects of your life it's not just about your basic needs it's like once those are met and you don't worry about your basic needs which most people do they worry about money and their basic needs so they're in this system that they're perpetually trapped in it's like a fucking prison and don't even realize it until you get a little taste of freedom and then once you get that taste of freedom you're like Am I supposed to have this? Like, almost like you feel guilty for being free. It's that is this mental fuck that we've been put in. And it's like, you can't. I'm um, sorry if my camera shakes. I'm like shaking my leg on uh, as I hold it. But it's like, you can't accept that life could be different because you've never experienced it different. And you don't remember how you've had it differently in the past unless you have reached this place where you can connect to your higher self and look at these beautiful soul signatures you have from all these different lifetimes. You are a unique soul sig signature that has been incarnated so many different times and has experienced different ways of being and different perspectives. And you have all these talents, you have all these dreams and aspirations and you have, you know, your soul signature knows exactly what it deeply desires in this life but if you're caught in the matrix and you haven't even raised your vibration enough to become a match to that you don't even know what you truly want what you think you want is based off the programming that has been instilled inside of you and the reason people are gravitating towards nature is because that is where connection to spirit is that's where that connection is we are one with it all that is what's natural. That's why people are gravitating toward it because it feels natural to them. So the more they get to know what they really truly want and desire, the more their soul urges for that independence, the more their soul urges for the things that they truly want, which they didn't know what they were until they tapped into it. So to say, well, I don't need to go on this spiritual journey. I don't need to try to change. I don't want to do anything because I know what I want and I can just, you know, be in this low vibration, but you don't really, that's what your ego wants. So it took me over 30 years to know what I truly wanted. And I thought I knew the entire first portion of my life what I wanted. But that was what my ego wanted because that's what my uh, your ego is like your programming. Your ego is a lot of different things. It's your shadow. It's something you'll always, it never dies. It's something that you learn how to observe and live with because that's it. That's the, your shadow side. That's like that dark side of you that exists. And it always will. You're a human being. You're going to experience different emotions come up. But it's like, are you going to let those emotions take the driver's seat? Or are you going to connect to your higher self and take the driver's seat? And so when those emotions come up, you step back. You be the observer. You don't act. You don't speak. You just sit and observe them. And you don't judge yourself for them. And you just let them pass. And then wait, and then hit the reset button. Maybe you have to go do something that's going to lift your spirits. Maybe you have to just go to sleep and hit the reset button and wake up the next day and just be like, okay, we're going to try again today, spirit. Like yesterday, I had to be in the observer mode a lot of the day because I kept feeling things come up, but I wasn't afraid of them. I wasn't going to suppress them in whatever, whatever ways that I normally suppress them. I'm just going to watch them come up and observe them. And the more you observe them, the more you see who you truly are and what things were holding you back and those and those different ways that you used to react when you stop yourself from reacting because you actually see your own shit. 
then you're able to every time it comes back and believe me you'll be tested even if you change your perception one time it's still going to come back it's still going to circulate back so so you can really see if you've changed the way you're going to respond to it and this world that we live in will give us tons of practice for that there's so much contrast in our world because we're living in this inverted matrix full of programming and like artificial like infiltration just wanting to reverse anything that would connect you to spirit and god that's why we're all shoved into these cities and disconnected from nature and eating food that poisons us and blocks off our connection to spirit like it's so many things tied to it that's why it's such a gradual ascension process because it's just everything you have to address everything so um and that's another thing when you are more independent and you can be sovereign and not depend on the matrix so much and not be in, you know, a debt slave and all that stuff. It opens up time to be creative and innovative and then start and, and, you know, start these communities and communities create less worry. So not only does being sovereign and independent and self-sufficient bring less worry, but then when you create communities where you can actually rely on each other, support each other, there are, there's no such thing as a mom raising her kids by herself. Are you kidding me? We have communities to help her. We have communities where people actually care about the children and they're not some you know, perverse school systems that make them feel insecure and like breed them in programming to think that they have to be a part of this slave like system. Like, no, communities don't make you worry about sending your child to school because of this, that, and the other. They come together and, and it's, and it's going to be so new and so innovative and creative. So there's a lot to be excited about. Um, and I don't want to keep going off on rants and I could go in a million different directions with give me a topic and I'll just rant for days, right? But the point of the matter is, is that um, what I'm feeling is this holding stage and, and the, the timing will be divine. It absolutely will be. And if you know that and you have your faith in that, don't worry if you feel like, I don't even know what to do with my hands right now. Like, what am I supposed to do right now? Like, I'm just feeling impatient and stuff. Like, just just step into your knowingness and just be like, okay, Spirit, what can I do today that's going to, you know, create a beautiful space for me to raise my vibration? So, you know, whenever that time is coming, or does come. And it's like we're, and I hate even saying like the time, when the time comes, uh, it's like we're waiting for something instead of being in the moment, you know? And that's what that lesson from that dream was being in that holding pattern, feeling like I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting to leave. And I just keep cleaning the same things over and over, cleaning the house over and over again, waiting to just leave it perfectly so we can go. And it's just like, it's okay. Be in the moment. Like if you are feeling like, you know, the move, like for me, I know for sure we're going to be in the mountains. I know for sure we're going to have land. And so... Does it matter that I don't know where exactly? Does it matter that I don't know the exact lay of the land? No, but I can still get into my creative energy and be in the moment and just like start laying out, okay, if I want a vegetable garden, what vegetables are good to grow next to other vegetables? And then if you're going to rotate your crop, so, you know, each crop gives the next, the crop from the last year, the, the right nutrients for the crop that you're going to plant in the next year. Like there's so many ways to be creative to just like start the process process before you even get there and the more that you step into it the more you become a match with the more you it's just like gravitating toward you like I said in the last video I made what you seek is seeking you and the more you seek it the more you make these plans about all these beautiful things that you want to do and just get creative and in your vision the more what you seek is just gravitating towards you so so moral of the story is is Let's not wait, wait, wait for this time and be impatient like I felt in my dream. But let's just step into the moment and be creative and get into that space, that good spot, that space to receive. I used to listen to Abraham Hicks when I first woke up a lot of time, but getting in that receiving mode, like getting in that place where um, you're a vibrational match to all the things that you you want and desire and what your soul truly wants. And you don't have to worry about defining that because 
even if you've never verbally said it or had the thought of what you want spirit knows what you want your unique soul signature it knows what you want more than you can mentally even think that because you still are in this you know at the same time we're still in this bodies and we still have had this programming and it's hard for us to really define what we want so when we just step into the moment it will organically unfold you don't have to be so definitive like yes you can go make those plans and think deep about the way you want to do a garden but I guarantee you all those plans that you make it's not going to lay out exactly that way and that's okay and look how much you've learned along the way and look how many things did did go out as you planned but it's just like you can't stop trying to figure it out it's it's gonna unfold and just get on that river and flow with the universe and go with the tide or go with the current enjoy the ride so yeah guys I know last month month was bumpy but just like get into that space of receiving because that is where the sweet spot is that space of receiving is also a creative space and just like if those negative emotions come up like for me um for me I've always had to deal with anger and so Anger is such a creative, it, you can use that and alchemize that in a creative way. Just think about like if you get real upset and then you go and freaking clean the whole house. It's just like you alchemize that anger. You didn't respond to anyone or anything, but you kind of like um, channel that angry energy in a productive way. And it's just like that's alchemization in a simple way of looking at it. Like you can alchemize that energy instead of projecting it onto oops I just hit my carter if you instead of projecting it onto somebody else um you use that energy in a creative way and and, you know that's where mastery really steps in because like usually if you're in anger it's like you just want to project that anger on whatever it is you feel angry about but like if you can step in and alchemize it and use that energy in a creative way oh my gosh then you learn how to hack life and then, and then you have to practice doing that with the other low vibrational energies that come up. And maybe it would be hard if you're depressed to go clean the whole house because you're just sluggish, you know. I don't know. It's different for everyone. We don't all fit into the same box. But I do know that there is a way to alchemize all of it. Not judge yourself for it. Um, let yourself know it's okay to feel it. And that not expect yourself to not feel low vibrational feelings because that's not realistic and that's not really what we're here for that's just avoidance people just say oh just you know throw a little love on it yeah you you can throw love into the situation but you can't suppress the shadow because it will come up it will come up for you just like it has been in february and, and right now when it comes up for you it's saying hey you know you're gonna look at me and you're gonna make a different choice and if you don't, you're gonna be in. You're gonna be looking at that. That cycle is gonna keep coming around so quickly. It's just like, look at me again. Look at me again. Look at me again. And it's just like, at some point, you know, you gotta look at it, and then you gotta choose how you're gonna respond. You have to choose how you want to perceive it. Write it down. Write down a bunch of different. Like if you write down that feeling. And then um, work with different words. Like, what? why do you feel angry? Start asking yourself questions and just, like, break the whole thing down and just be the observer. You're observing when you do that. It's like you're getting, you're digging into the energy, but you're not projecting it out in, toward anyone else or anything else. You're just, um, that's another way. That's just spirit bringing another way to, like, alchemize that energy and break it down and and really come from a different vibrational space in terms of addressing it so guys I love you I hope this helped and um everything is always working out for you it's what you believe like it's that it's like you can't receive it until you believe it so I'll leave you guys with that